Right, it's uh, four minutes to nine. Now, it might seem that Theresa May is having the, got the weight of the world on her shoulders right now, but uh, things are much better for Jeremy Corbyn. Uh, Jewish Labour MP Dame Margaret Hodge allegedly called Jeremy Corbyn an anti-Semite and a racist when she confronted him in the House of Commons yesterday. Labour has approved controversial new guidelines on anti-Semitism after a debate with the National Executive Committee. They, however, rejected the broader International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance definition of anti-Semitism, leaving out four key points. Jenny Manson is co-chair of Jewish Voice for Labour and he's on the line now. Jenny, good morning. Uh, good morning. And that's actually not true. They have got a better definition. The IHRA definition is a very short one. Right. The guidelines that the IHRA produced were actually just a press release originally, and the person who wrote them would like to retract them. But the CPS... Very vague. The CPS I'm are... very much in support of what the NEC yes. has done. I'm but... very sorry. I know Margaret Hodge. I'm very sad that she should make such a statement because I believe Mr Corbyn is not in the least racist, not no. in the least anti-Semitic. But the CPS have adopted those those guidelines. Why, why yes. is it all right for them and not all right for the Labour Sorry, Party? that's the prosecution service, is it? Yes. Well, I'm afraid there's been an awful lot of pressure being put on government bodies in the last few years, and I'm very unhappy about pressure being put on bodies without analysis and, and, and logic behind it. What the NEC has done is looked at these guidelines, which have been reviewed by a a QC called Sir Hugh Tomlinson, who said they just don't work, the guidelines. They're not strong enough, and on the other hand, they can stifle free speech. And what the NEC has done has looked at the best of the work that the Home Office Steering Committee did, including Chukuru Munu, by the way, who mm. approved what, and said we must give context here, we must give explanation here, and we must strengthen it here. Okay. This thing has been misquoted very, very well, unfairly. Well, Ed, Ed Middleband says you should have adopted those other guidelines. He, I'm afraid he hasn't looked at the papers. I mean, we have, in Jewish Voice for Labour, let me just tell you if I may who we are, we, you have to be in Jewish Voice for Labour, you have to be Jewish and you have to be a member of the Labour Party right. to be a voting member. We, we started a year ago, just over a year. We've grown far more quicker than we ever thought we would because we are Jews who feel very strongly that there shouldn't be knee-jerk reactions. People should look at the papers and look at the ca- and look carefully okay. at what the Labour Party Jenny, we are, short of, we are a bit short of time, so can I just yes. ask you, do you think Labour is stronger on anti-Semitism because of what you've adopted? I think that they almost certainly are. It's a code of contact. They'll have to try it out, and I know a little bit about the hard work being put into it by John Lansman and others. I think it's a working document, okay. and I think it will be stronger and better and much more truthful about what anti-Semitism okay. is. Okay, thank you, Jenny. Time now is just approaching nine o'clock. Of course, Jules is here after nine with Cool Jules, talking about dash cams this morning.